Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today we're going to be doing my cash stuffing for the farmer's market that I do for the second week of June. We're going to be stuffing a total of $1,150 today. Um, I will let y'all know I do my filming um, for both of these like at the same on the same day. Um, and I told y'all in my cash stuffing earlier in the week, I do have my dishwasher going. It is a little annoying. I'm hoping that it's more annoying for me than it is for y'all, but you are going to hear that hum and maybe even my sink draining at some point in this video. So sorry about that. I hope that it doesn't bother you too much. Um, but if it's your first time here, just know that that's not like a regular thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try to talk over it so y'all can't really hear it, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. Um, along with that, I am in the middle of my bake day for my sourdough bakery. And, uh, um, so like if the oven goes off, I'm gonna try to catch it and just pause the video and like do all the shuffling that I need to do and then come back. Um, but if it goes off during the video, again, sorry. Um, but so we have one $200 in placeholders, three, four, five, six, 700, 58, 50, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, that's 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80. This is 90, that's 1,100. And 10, 20, 11, 25, 35, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Sorry, that was weird. I'm not used to. I feel like it's been a couple weeks since I had one. So I was like, oh no, I'm about to run out of fives and I haven't fit, hit 11.50 yet. Um, so we're going to start off in my business binder for today. Um, car maintenance is going to be getting $10. So it has 50, 70, 90, 100. Gas is going to be getting $50. So it has 50, 70, 90, 100. Growth. So this is the envelope that I use for ingredients for a micro bakery, any um, like farmer's market fees that I need to pay. Um, and with that, this is where I do the placeholders, um, just because with my Square account, it's like a separate checking account from the other business checking account that I have for this, just because it kind of came with my Square. Um, so I just keep those funds in here because I'm constantly buying ingredients. So instead of me pulling it out, just have to put it back in. I just use placeholders to represent um, the money that's in that account. Um, cell phone is going to be getting $20. So it has 20, 40. Yeah, see, sorry, that's that draining. Um, marketing is getting $10. So it has 20, 30, 40, 50. Supplies will be getting $75. So 50, 70, so supplies has 50, 70, 90, 110, 15, 20. So 120 in there. And then for this saving challenge, this is for a bread oven that I would like to buy for my business. Um, and it is quite expensive, so I am just saving up for it. Um, each one of these bread wools is $120, so that's what we are going to stuff today. So in here, I have 1,100, 200, 300 in my high yield savings account. So this is 1,400, 20, 40. So 1,440 in here. We're about halfway there. This one's just, it's going to take a while, but it's one of those things that I'd rather it take a while and I can pay all cash for the oven versus having to finance it and paying more in interest. So, all right, and that's going to be it in here. So we're going to circle back to my everyday binder. Groceries is going to get $100. And so it has 120, 40, 60, 75. 
Dining Out is going to get $20. So it has $20, $35, $45. Spending is going to get $50. So it has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 170 in there. That's kind of nice. Um, pets is going to get $20. So it has 20, 45. And then lastly in here is self care, and it will be getting $10. So it has 10, 25, 30. All right, and I'm going to put this back. I'm going to pause y'all so hopefully you won't see that big of a jump. Um, so I can do a little shuffle with my oven and I will be right back. All right, so that's all done. Um, I feel like I also meant to say at the beginning of my other video and I guess this video too that I probably have like flour and stuff all over my hands and uh, yeah, that's just what happens. <laughs> when you're trying to do multiple things, one of which being baking bread. Um, so in my sinking funds binder, date night is going to get $5. So it has 20, 30, 45. Baby fund is going to get $5 as well. So it has one 200 in my high yield savings account, 10, 15. So 215 total. Health is going to get $150, so this is for my health insurance premium, and because I'm self-employed, um, it's just really expensive because I have to pay all of it. Um, so it has $150,200. That is like one of the not super fun sides of being self-employed. Um, medical is going to get $10. So it has 100, 200 in my high yield savings account, 10 and 20, so 220 total. I did have someone ask me once, um, which like is totally fine, that they were like, oh, you know, since you're self-employed, why don't you get insurance through um, your husband? And I definitely could, um, but the insurance that I had before he moved to this job, if I were to switch insurance over to the like company, whatever it is that they have, um, I would lose out on. So like they don't do any at all fertility coverage. So which the insurance that I have right now doesn't cover like IVF or anything like that, but it does at least cover like the ultrasounds that I have to do. Um, luckily it covers some of my medications, um, things like that. But like if I had moved over to his, it would not cover anything at all. And even though I pay about $700 a month for health insurance, one, I can use that, you know, for my business come tax time. But two, you know, I'm saving more, especially right now while we're going through IVF, I'm saving more even by paying $700 a month than I would if I had to pay for some of these medicines and stuff out of pocket. Like my total for my pre-insurance total for all of the meds that I needed for my IVF cycle was like over $14,000. Um, so it definitely saves a lot. It is a lot to pay each month, um, but it's just kind of one of those things. It won't be forever once we are able to get pregnant and we're kind of in that like safer spot with everything. Um, you know, I will probably go ahead and switch over. Um, but I just, I didn't want to switch because I can't really like switch back whenever I want to because health insurance is freaking wild in this country. But anywho, um, vacay is going to get $20 and uh, sorry, I kind of said that weird. Um, in my binder where I have all this written down, I have it written down as va like vacay, but in here is vacation. So I kind of like caught myself halfway through saying that. So it has 50, 70, 90, 100. So that was kind of uh, strange to say the least. And then we're going to skip back to miscellaneous. And just because I had to use this a bit, I wanted to stuff it. I don't normally stuff it in my farmer's market cash stuffings, but it is getting $5, which is all of these ones. So it has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, two, three, four, and five. So 25 in there. 
And that's going to be it for sinking funds. And I don't need my holiday binder because we are done with Christmas and Black Friday, which is so nice. Um, in my homestead binder, bulk shopping is going to get $20. So it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Household will be getting $5. So it has 5, 10, 15, 20. House maintenance is also getting 5. So it has 50, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80 dollars. And then feed is going to get 20. So it has 20, 30. And electric is getting 20. So it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. And that's going to be it in my homestead binder. So the last thing that we need to do is just my debt binder for my extra debt envelope. And that's going to get the last bit of cash over there, which should be $200. So one, two. So now in extra debt, I have one, two, three, four hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, five hundred, which is very nice. It's like nice to be, you know, I wasn't stuffing my extra debt envelope while we were saving up for IVF. Um, so it's really nice to be, you know, stuffing that one again and being able to actually put extra towards my credit cards and everything. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this week's farmer's market cash stuffing. I hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend coming up and I will see y'all next week's video. Bye y'all.